The calf is presented with complete fracture of right forelimb tibia bone. There is open wound and broken bone is potrided out from skin, as it's very challenging to repair open wound tibia fracture in large ruminants. Tibia fracture in a calf can be treated with stall confinement, external coaptation using a splint or cast, or surgical repair with plates and pins. External coaptation is often used for less severe fractures, while internal fixation is reserved for more complex cases and offers better stability for weight-bearing fractures. After through examination, we decided to do fiber glass cast with hanging pin technique, keeping window on open wound for dressing. General anesthesia is given along with local anesthesia at the of open wound. Wound is properly cleaned. Local antibiotics were applied and skin sutures taken with non-absorbable suture thread. Given the complexity of treating open tibia fractures in large ruminants, we opted for fiberglass cast with a hanging pin technique, incorporating a window for wound dressing. Under general and local anesthesia, the wound was cleaned and the local antibiotics were applied, which is followed by the skin sutures. Two 3.5 mm stenmen pins were inserted into the bone fragments to stabilize the fracture. After proper alignment and bandaging, a fiberglass cast was applied, covering at least two joints of the tibia. The cast included a window for wound care and precautions were taken to prevent the injury from the cast ages. Post-operative care included the antibiotics, the painkillers and the calcium supplements. Regular dressing changes were performed and the calf showed the significant improvement within 15 days with normal feed and water intake and the healing of the open wound. After 45 days, the fiberglass cast was carefully removed, revealing complete calcification of the tibia fracture. Minor skin irritations at the calf's upper edges were treated and the calf began bearing weight on the affected leg. Within 10 days of the calf's removal, the calf demonstrated marked improvement, increased wet bearing capacity and reduced lameness. The owner was pleased with the outcome and the calf showed the overall health improvement and the weight gain.